Hi guys, what's up? It's Lindsay and welcome or welcome back to another vlog. It is morning. I hope you're all doing well. I just walked the dog and fed her and now I thought I would make a smoothie because it's still really hot in LA even though it's it's fall, but I finally bought some protein powder so I thought I would try and make a smoothie with some protein and like see if it's any good. <laughs> I rarely make smoothies and I've never used protein powder before, so we'll see how this goes. This smoothie is going to have a frozen banana, some frozen blueberries, some strawberries, maybe some spinach, um, oat milk, of course, and then this vanilla protein powder, which I have had before and it is good. So let's, uh, you know, hope this goes well. This is a huge smoothie and I realized I don't have straws, so uh, I'm gonna need a spoon. This isn't bad. I think I'm gonna add some granola on top. This is way better. I think it just needed like a bit of a, you know, sweeter textural change, but mmm. I just got a bit of a surprise delivery. I wasn't expecting this. It is from Bonza and it says pizza and also labels that say dry ice. So pretty excited to open this as you um, can imagine. Introducing plant-based cheese. Oh my gosh. I actually, I have been waiting for this. Okay, pizza haul. I have two plant-based cheese, and then two plain pizza crusts, which are very good gluten-free and vegan folks. Thank you so much, Bonza. That truly made my day. I am gonna go take a shower and get ready for the day. I feel like my bangs just need to be like wet and restyled every single day, so I'll show you guys how I do that. But I also wanted to mention that the little one piece that I've been wearing today is from Everlane, and they are the sponsor of today's video, so I'm gonna show you some more pieces from them, but that is the one that I've been wearing so far. I am just wearing this blouse, which is vintage, and these jeans from Everlane. And today I'm going to be sharing with you five of my all-time favorite picks from Everlane that I do wear year-round, but are especially fitting for the fall season. You guys know I'm all about slow fashion and supporting sustainable businesses, so I feel good wearing these pieces that are timeless and classic and things you'll want to wear for years to come. So the first thing that I obviously have to mention are the jeans that I'm currently wearing. These are the 90s Cheeky Jean from Everlane and these are so comfortable, they're so flattering. I actually have them in a couple different washes and they fit very true to size. They also come in different lengths. So if you are like extra tall or petite, you can adjust that accordingly without having to get them hemmed and it just saves so much time. I love these jeans, they never do me wrong. Up next, I absolutely love of the Everlane canvas overalls. Mine might be a little dirty because I was wearing these while potting plants, but these are so comfortable. They have a nice straight leg on them, so I feel like they're a very modern overall, and I just get so many compliments when I wear these, and so many of you guys have asked me where they were from before. Who would I be without them? I feel like they're part of my personal style. I know it's not quite cold enough for this yet, but Everlane has my favorite cotton turtlenecks, and here it is. This is the cotton rib turtleneck. I have it in black and white. I also really love corduroy for fall, and this pair is the same cut as the denim I'm wearing, but in corduroy. These are in the color bitter chocolate, and they have a straight leg. They're really just like the perfect 
vintage looking corduroy high-waisted pant. And the last thing is a super special item that I've been wearing a lot in my vlogs lately, and that is this zip-up sweater. I just think this piece is so unique. You can wear it like a cardigan, you can zip it into a half zip, you can put the zippers in the middle. It's just really unique looking, and it's also super soft because Everlane makes some of the best sweaters. I love the thick neck on it, and it just feels like a blanket while also being very stylish and very cool, so I've been wearing this so much. Those are my favorite pieces from Everlane, and if you were interested in trying out any of them or learning more about Everlane, I will have all of the products linked in the description box. For lunch, I am craving kind of like a brown rice and arugula veggie bowl with like some tomato and avocado. So I am making some short grain brown rice in my rice cooker. This takes a pretty long time though, so I am going to eat a snack. And I used veggie broth instead of water just so that it tastes better. I do have to say, I feel pretty great considering I had a smoothie for breakfast. I find they usually make me crash like whenever I get like an acai bowl, but the protein powder really helped me out. That felt like a really filling, solid breakfast. I just remembered that you guys haven't seen my new bed. I got a bed frame yesterday. It's from Article and it's very minimal, neutral. I honestly think now my bed looks a little bit boring, but it is extremely comfortable. I got a new mattress as well from Avocado and I've like never slept better than in this bed. Sammy just woke up from a nap and had to follow me in here. I'm obviously keeping the bed frame because they just built it. I just kind of wish I almost got a color or the other option is obviously to change my bedspread, but this one is so soft because I've had it for like a year or two and the linen just gets so soft when you wash it. So I'm kind of torn for now, might uh, switch things up in here. I've just put most of my decor and planning into the living room so far because that's kind of where I've been spending more of my time since my desk is out there now. And that's been really healthy having my desk not in my bedroom. So I don't work in bed or at least I try not to. But as a result, it's just kind of not decorated in here yet and it just doesn't really feel quite like me. I need some more colors and more fun stuff in here. We already went for our long walk today, so we're just gonna go out in the yard. I can take a clip if you guys wanna see more of like what our little yard looks like, but it is shared, so I'm probably like never gonna film out there, if that like makes sense. The rice is done and now I am just going to prepare the other steps. I'm basically recreating the label from the restaurant Zinc in LA. If you've had it before, I've remade it a couple times, but it's really easy and delicious. The bowl has chopped marinated tomatoes. So I'm using this heirloom tomato, chopping it roughly and using some salt, pepper and balsamic vinegar. I'm also going to cube an avocado and saute some veggies on the stove just to kind of add some heartiness. Then just assemble it all together with a little bit of sriracha mayonnaise, which seriously is the kicker in this. It just is so good. Gap sweatshirts making a comeback. I found this on ThreadUp. That's my retail price, $50, and I found this for $18.99. It is now dinner time and I am making the Bonza cheese pizza. This is what she looks like. Looks actually pretty great. It has like little seasonings. Gonna put this in the oven and let you know how it is. Ignore my bangs. I had them like pushed up after I went for a walk and I don't know what's going on, but I'm so excited to try this pizza. That's a pretty impressive cheese pull for a vegan pizza. I love Follow Your Heart cheese, which is what they used. So I pretty much knew it would be good. I'm not usually one to just have a plain cheese pizza, but I'm kind of too lazy to add any toppings. So overall, I'm really enjoying this. I, I knew I would. It's the next day and I was just gonna come on here to end this vlog, but then I received a very large piece of art for my living room and I am so excited to open it. I just, you guys had to be a part of this. It's from Anthropology. 
This is gonna go over my dining table, I think, like up on that wall. Are you ready for the big reveal? There she is. This is from Anthropology and their collaboration with Hotel Magique. I really love Hotel Magique. I actually got two of their prints for my living room walls, but I saw this piece that was like an Anthropology exclusive and it has been living rent free in my brain for a month. So I finally just decided to splurge on it and I can't wait to have this be just like the centerpiece of my dining room and basically my home because that is kind of like the central point of this place. But yeah, I'm so happy with it. It's beautiful and it's really lightweight because I believe this is plexiglass, which is a lot safer for earthquakes too. I love it so much. I'm so happy with it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to check out Everlane. I will have all of the products in the description box, like this little cardigan, and I will see you all with some new content very soon. Bye guys.